This video is a quick Key Stage 4 guide to drawing circuit diagrams. So on screen we have the image of a circuit. The question is, why would we want to draw a circuit diagram when we could just take a picture of a circuit? So, circuit diagrams. By the end of this we should be able to suggest why circuit diagrams are used instead of pictures or drawings, and we should be able to accurately draw a circuit diagram. So why don't we just take pictures? Well, in this particular case, it would be relatively easy to take this picture, show it to another person, and have them replicate the circuit. However, as the number of components increases, and the number of connecting wires increases, it becomes increasingly difficult to prevent the wires from being tangled. After some time, you may find it very difficult to determine which component is attached to which other component. An additional problem may be that the bulbs themselves may look different from the ones that you have available. Instead, we want to draw a circuit diagram. So let's start by drawing a circuit diagram wrong. First of all, we spend an enormous amount of time drawing a cell, colouring it in, adding every little fine detail. We then draw a nice curly wire. We attach that wire to a picture of a bulb, which takes us an incredibly long time to do because they've even included the screws on that bulb. Another nice curly wire, another bulb, another curly wire, back to a bulb, and finally back to the cell. This is a bad circuit diagram because, again, if we increase the number of components, it will become increasingly difficult to tell which wire attaches to which component, and it has also spent needless amount of time drawing very specific images. This is how we do a circuit diagram right. We use a ruler and a pencil. We then use our circuit symbols. In this case, we have a cell attached to one bulb, a second bulb, and a third bulb. It is then attached straight back to the cell. With this circuit diagram, it's easy to tell how the components are connected together, and easy, regardless of what shape or size your components might be, to see how to put them together yourself. Next, if you want to try this yourself, you can pause the video now. In this case, we do not have a cell. We have two cells joined together, so we can simply draw this as a battery. We then have a wire connected to a switch, and finally connected to a buzzer. This connects back to the battery. Again, it is very clear and easy to see in what order these components are placed.